Hillsong How many thing. gyms you got? Are you do you just open a new one or this is so I one? have one now. Uh -huh. It's gonna turn to like a private gym for like trainers. Okay. And like, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then the new one is Encino, so it'll be, technically be two gyms, but the one will be the one that's like people could actually show up in Encino. That's what's up, man. But I'm like, that shit is so expensive, bro. Is it? I, oh my god, crazy expensive. Starting up or maintaining? The whole Both, thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Honestly, like I, I always I, wanted the a gym. I always wondered, like, oh, how much it would cost? Because my homie owned a gym out in Tulsa. Yeah, it's definitely different here in LA. Because where uh -huh. the new gym is at now, it's on Ventura and Havenhurst, so it's mm -hmm. in like on Ventura Boulevard in Encino. Yeah, and it is fucking expensive, man. The build out obviously was a little rushed. So it was like a little like double price. It was pretty pretty shitty. But the actual rent of the space itself is thirty six thousand. Yikes. Which is insane. Obviously, it's, it's it's different. Even if in California, it's always more expensive. But mm -hmm. if like if I went to like a warehouse area, yeah, it'd be like cheaper because it's off the strip. But I don't know. I kind of I just really wanted to see like genuinely if it can do well there. Because then if like if it can do well there, then that bitch can do well anywhere. So in that type of business, in the gym business, gym business, yeah. um, how do you? Where is most of your revenue coming from? Is, it, is it, yeah, where is? How do you recoup, I guess, is what I'm Yeah, asking. so for me specifically, for Zoo Culture, it, mm -hmm. it would definitely be, obviously, memberships. But uh -huh. then the bigger portion would be day passes because so many people travel to yeah, L.A. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. want to go make content or yeah. they want to meet influencers. Uh -huh. They want to see people. Right? They obviously train at the gym as well. But right. because it's, it's built this whole, like, social media following around the space, because years ago, I mean, my gym was probably one of the first gyms that was like just for creators mm -hmm. seven years ago when I opened it up. Mm -hmm. So people would come to make content there because they knew that like, you know, when you have a membership there and you have a day pass, you sign, you agree that like you might be in the background of someone's film mm -hmm. because I built it for myself essentially in that sense where I'm going to film content because right. I was getting kicked out of other gyms. Right. So I was like, I want to open a space where I can film content comfortably. Originally, it was just for that. And then I was like, why not have try and make it a gym? And then uh -huh. it became what it is. And then other people would come in and film content and then other creators would be there. So then other creators would know that or people who want to come up would know that to like see them mm -hmm. just trying to kindle relationships and make content. So the, the day pass was probably one of the most valuable things because people from all over the you know, world would essentially come and be like, oh, I watch your videos. I'm from here. I'm in mm -hmm. L.A. for this, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of people go to L.A. just to go to L.A. to visit other things. Right. So they would show up to the gym as well just to like try to find me or try to find one of their favorite creators. So the day Sorry. pass is actually really lucrative for that for that type of gym yeah um That's obviously fire. like membership stuff there's like you know uh, what they call typically like pro shop stuff would be like just shop stuff like yeah you know drinks but but day pass is probably the biggest thing people show up